this is going to be a common thing that you'll see. Uh, these they, these uh, trees have been in the pots for quite a while, um, so sometimes the roots can start to grow out from under. We do have pruners, so if you need to, you can snip them off. Um, otherwise, too, like sometimes you'll need to sometimes cut off the pot depending on how root bound they are. But I think that might be enough for this guy. Let's see? And you'll notice I'm holding it kind of at an angle. I'm letting gravity help me with getting this out. Um, and then we can tap any extra soil into our hole. And then this is what it looks like. So you can see, again, these have been in the pot for a minute, so they've started to grow around a little bit. So we want to give uh, the root ball a bit of a massage. So it's kind of like if you think like giving a little scalp massage in a way. Some of the species might be more root bound and you might have to really kind of almost tear into it. Um, this one's not so root bound where you can't just loosen it up fairly gently. And this is kind of going to be the indicator for the tree that, okay, you can start growing out, right? And so we're loosening and then once it's nice and loose, and again, I'm doing this near the hole so I'm not losing all this good soil. The next step and probably the most important step is measuring the depth. So when we're putting this into the ground, you, we really don't want to be adding any soil onto this, right? This has been uh, planted at the perfect depth for this tree. And trees don't really do that well if you put extra soil onto them. And we also don't want to plant it too high because this soil is going to erode away and expose the roots. So we'll see where we're starting with. And as I mentioned, these holes have been augered. So they do have a ring of soil around that has been lifted up by the augering process. So we want to make sure we're looking at where the actual forest floor is. So I'm going to make a little bit of a cut here. So that's where I'm aiming for. So you can see this is a little bit too high right now. So take them back out. Get a shovel. And see how that works out. So again, I'm measuring not from up here but from here where I've made this little divot. And that's looking just about right. Um, yeah. And if you're gonna be slightly off, it's better to be slightly high because it will settle a little bit over time. But this is about just perfect. And so then comes the actual planting of the tree. And with this, again, like we're not adding any soil on top of the soil disc. We really just wanna be putting it in and around and like tucking it in. Cause you really wanna make sure that there's good contact between the soil and the roots. So. You'll see all this soil I'm pushing in, and again, just using this tucking motion. And then I'm grabbing more soil from around and tucking it in nice and snug. And you just keep doing that until, as you keep going, there's no more ring around the tree. And so this can sometimes take a minute. You might also find as you're doing this, some of the holes have some like kind of rocks or debris. Sometimes there's big roots as well. Try to work around those as best you can. If you're really, really struggling, um, you can sometimes like try to find a new hole or start digging a new hole maybe in a different location. Uh, but for the most part, I think these holes have been pretty good. And yeah, so you just keep doing it. And then now you'll see that ring has kind of disappeared. And again, you can still see where the nursery soil is. And so then, the very last step is going to be doing a tug test. So you're going to take two fingers and a thumb and give it a nice tug. And you'll see it's not going anywhere. You can also come after and give it a tug just to see how firmly it is in there. You're also not going to see any of the soil breaking up, so that's good. Um, and you've planted your tree. Uh, the very, very last step, if you want, uh, you can put a little bit of like debris kind of around it as a mulch in a way just to prevent the soil from drying out too, too much. And also, if, if you're a, a little person, sometimes it can help to do a little bit of a tree dance around. Just on the edges, you're not gonna be standing onto the root ball, but that's just gonna help get the soil nice and snug as well.